Hello there, welcome back. In this video lecture, we'll see how to use import tool of a scoop command. This using this import tool, we can uh, import the data from RDBMS uh, table and we can store it into either Hive uh, uh, table or HDFS or into HBase. In this video, we'll see how to uh, read the table and how to write the content of the table into HDFS. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, so I have uh, my to use the scoop uh, import command, you can just use scoop import and you can mention the connection string like how we have done in our previous video jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash quick start dot cloud error which is my vm name and i have to mention the database name along with the connection string my i remember the database name which i have is retail underscore db so i want to connect to that db using username username uh, root and password Cloudera. Under this uh, database, I want to uh, read or I want to uh, import the table uh, products. There is a table called products under this uh, database. So I want to import that particular table. So to do that, I can mention hyphen hyphen table and give the table name. Table name is products and uh, that's it. I can simply give an enter. And it the scoop will uh, cross check try to connect to the database check if the data uh, database is uh, connecting database is there or not if the database is there then it will try to check the table is available or not once the table is available then it will try to uh, generate the code required for fetching the data once that code is ready it will trigger a map reduce job you can see right here uh, uh, scoop has triggered a map reduce job and as i said we are using scoop one will have only mapper job not a reducer job and you can see the progress will be only for mapper job once the mapper is 100 percent our job is 100 percent complete because scoop two uh, scoop one uses only mapper for both uh, transport as well as transaction right and now you can see our mapper uh, is 100 percent complete and our job is also 100 percent complete now we can see there are certain uh, uh, counters which are which uh, scoop will show these are default for map reduce job as well now uh, you can see uh, here scoop import base it, it it clearly states that it has imported 1345 records from that particular table which have been uh, uh, which have been stored into hdfs you might be wondering in our command I haven't mentioned any uh, a target uh, location right i i have just used uh, which uh, uh, which table i have to connect and what is the id and password and i haven't mentioned where to store and in under which location uh, to store so uh, when none of the locations are given scoop by default stores the data into uh, users home directory users hadoop home directory so under this hadoop home directory it will create a directory with the table name which we are trying to import so my table name is products so on my user is i am connecting i am connected with cloudera so if i want to see where the data is stored i can i can run hdfs dfs hyphen ls and use user cloudera and under cloudera I, there will be a folder created called products this folder name would be the same as the name uh, name of the source table so my source table table name is products so i'll have a directory created with the same name so you can see uh, this table name under this table name uh, this four different files have been created and you can see the table this has been just created okay this is created just now right this is how it will work Suppose if you want to mention where you want to store your uh, target data, you can mention the, uh, the path explicitly using another option, which is hyphen hyphen target dir. Suppose let me run this job again with target hyphen dir, and I want to store this data under temp. Uh, under temp, I want to create with products this is just an example ideally this should be uh, a better place than temp just for uh, demonstrating uh, this target 
dir option i'm using this so let me run this job again and it will trigger a map reduce and it will uh, store the data under temp products now you can see our job has been completed now we can run hdfs dfs fnls slash temp slash products and now you can see under products there are four different uh, files which are created why there are four different files because there are four mapper uh, mappers that have been run so that is the reason four different files have been created the number of parallel mappers that will run those many number of files will be created under the target directory okay so this is how we can use a uh, scoop import tool to import the data and uh, write the data into hdfs so that's it for this video lecture guys and uh, if you have liked this video please do uh, give a thumbs up and uh, please do share the video and spread the channel and please do subscribe uh, subscribe to my uh, channel if you are new to the channel thank you guys and uh, see you in the next video bye